you know, this time it's just after twelve. We won't be too long tonight. Um, I just, I just felt you know the come on for a few minutes, um, just to have a bit of a chat. You know, I suppose the end of the day I was lonely, um, on my own. I suppose and I have to bit it straight. That's I suppose I'm just looking for somebody to talk to, um. That's to be totally answered. Even though I have a good lot to do, but you look at, um, that's why I'm not going to stay too long. I have a good bit to do, but um, you can wait. You can wait a few minutes. Sure. Um, have a chat with people and see how people are doing. So if you're watching this as a video or anything like that, so forgive me. Um, probably chat to myself for a few minutes, but you look at, um, do if we all chat to ourselves now and again. What is that now? An email. Um, but sure, yeah, look at, look at, look at. Could look at um I should probably put that on Twitter. Um I was gonna put it on the community post that I was about to go live, but you look at um you've too much things to remember and everything like that. Um so yeah 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 and look at somebody's brain dead in the thumbnail. Um very good, very good, very good, very fancy. Um but yeah so how was I wonder how I'm keeping um so I'm talking to myself I don't know but I know um see so, you know it is late and it's Thursday we're coming to the end of the week you know it's, it's not easy for everybody to be up at this time um so but I just said to come on for a few minutes anyway um just to say hello you know it won't be long again it won't be to half three like the last live stream I went to that um because I do have a good bit to get on with but <laughs> as I said you know, it can wait a few minutes, I'm sure. Like it's not it's not gonna blow up my face, hopefully. Um oh we have two people. Hello, hello. I hope everybody's keeping well. Happy happy Thursday. Um nearly Friday, happy Thursday. Is that the same thing to say, but anyway. Um but yeah, I hope you're keeping well the tonight, I suppose. Early morning. Um so yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just a quick live stream, so just basically just checking up to see how everybody is and how we got everything everybody's keeping. Um, I suppose just talking to people. <laughs> That's at the end of the day. Um, or this I don't know. My chat might be a bit, uh, bit. You know, sometimes it just this doesn't want to work. Um. Oh, hello, Mark. How are you doing? Uh, happy tours. You started a new job. Oh, that's good. That's good. Great to hear. Hope it's going very well. Hope you're doing very well in your new job. Uh, hope you like it. It's always very nervous starting a new job. Um hope you hope you enjoy hope you're enjoying it. And also thank you for joining the Discord. Um I did yeah, is, yeah you joined the Discord. Um just remember the top of my head. Um so thank you for joining the mark too. Um so yeah. So uh, yeah, anybody talk about to ask me anything or talk about anything or something on on their mind, what they get off their mind or into that. Um, I'm open. I'm open all hours, as they say. That's the old program we on years ago. Open all hours. Um, so yeah, open all hours. So yeah, but then, um, but yeah, um, I'm always very paranoid now. To be totally honest with you about this chat, um, because sometimes it doesn't like showing for me, um, so YouTube, um. <laughs> You know, sometimes it just it shows if if I looked on my phone and show, but it won't show on the screen for some reason. It should show, but I don't know why. Um, particularly because I have the latest version of YouTube and everything that, and it should show. Um, so I just I always have to double check on my phone, um, just to make sure I'm not missing anybody on that. Um, anybody's talking, so you know, please feel free to talk. Um, okay, that's okay. I'm just making sure that because at one time I ended up going on and on and on for hours and hours and hours um, and I thought nobody was chatting um, and the was well, people asked me questions and I only noticed about two hours into it um, and it was, actually I noticed at the end of it um, that there was people chatting to me and I didn't see it because I was live and I, I thought nobody was talking which you look at um, but that's way back I was playing Mafia 2 at the time um, very embarrassing but again it wasn't my fault it was YouTube just didn't want to update and just didn't want to show the comments. Uh, hello, Fiona. How are you doing? Hope you're keeping well. Um. So yeah. So again, apologies for late live stream. It's the only time I had. Um, I only have the time now. Uh, I could have went live a half. The totally ends at half eleven, but you look at. Um. 
don't shoot the messengers, I suppose. And uh, not yet, anyway. Um, but you know, I just said a command for a few minutes. Again, it's not going to be long. So you know, anything you want to talk about, anything that's on your mind, anything, anything that's worrying anybody, and um, don't be afraid. Is that an Irish flagman? Yes, it is. Well, here, yes, this is an Irish flagman. Um, I have so many. Which is the one that I had for years? Um, I think this is the one I had for years. And Grand, I'm going to sleep now. Over. Oh, uh, thank you for stopping in, Anna. Um. It's sweet dreams, as they say. Thank you for all the support. Um, uh, enjoy, enjoy the rest of the week. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I know, yeah, I know, I know it's, you know, it's, it's probably be a bit more hype at Christmas. We do a few things, um, hopefully for Christmas, please God. Um, we get a few things done. Um, it should be fun. It should be fun. Um, ho hopefully, please God, because again, it's been very complicated this year in trying to deliver everything and trying to get everything working and sorted out. It's been um, chaotic, if you say the least. It's very chaotic. Um, so that's why it, things not one of as usual. Last year went off without a bang, everything that we had planned and everything like that. And just, this year just completely collapsed in on itself and just fell to pieces. Um, so hopefully we'll prove that. We do have some things. There's a few people actually want me to do a few things. Uh, I'm not going to say what they are, but on Christmas. And if we look into that, we will look into it. Um, they asked, requested if we could do it. Um, and we will look, I will look into it. I'm making my priority to look into it. Um, and I will do something again. I, I can't say. I know the person that will, knows if he's here, I suppose, if he's watching this. Um, you know, we are going to try our best to see what we can do. Um, to see what we can do. Do you get real or fake Christmas trees? I usually get, like again, we had one for years and years and years, and it's an artificial one, if that makes any sense. Um, we don't really get real Christmas trees, to be totally honest. With you. Um, but you know, when I was younger, we, it, was, it was an artificial. Um, nowadays, we use an artificial one, but when I was younger, we used the real Christmas tree. We went, we went and got one every year. Um, I don't know which is better, to be totally honest. With you. Um, I don't know which is better. Um... I, I think the two of them look nice, especially with decorations, and it, it looks very nice. This, you can't really tell the difference, to be totally honest. Um, do you think there'll be a lockdown in mid-December? Again, it's very iffy on what could happen. If it's me tomorrow, um, I only hope they won't lock us down um, and ruin people's fun, especially because coming into Christmas time, people want to just have a Christmas um, and meet the family and things like that. And it's a sin to come along and just say, no, you're not allowed to do that. Um, so, you know, hopefully, please God, you know, it worked. Um, we have to wait and see, I suppose. That's what I do. Um, we can't predict the future, but knowing this government probably will just do it for the hell of it and just annoy everybody. Um, because they're too high in control, but I know. Um, so we, I always get a real Christmas tree. Yeah, I know, there's a good lot of people I know too that, uh, you know, like the real Christmas trees. Um, like again, I know people have people have their difference. You know, people always, you know, people have this different. That's blah 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 blah. blah. You know, people are different. People like different things, I suppose, and they like artificial ones. Some people like weird ones. You know, and it's understandable. I suppose whatever suits them. Uh, hello, Alan. Uh, let me just see. Thoughts on the Lewis protest about the fuel prices today? Uh, you're talking about oh the Lois, the Lois. I don't know why I said the Lewis. Sorry, dyslexia or something. The thoughts about the pro. So yeah, I, I know I know a few people that are haulers that work for companies hauling things around the country. Um they go off to France, they go off to Italy, you know, they go off to other countries on the continent and um, deliver them freight, things like that. And again they get very little tax for it. Um and they get very little money for it for the company they get and they should they spend the majority of it on fewer and you know it's 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 not easy and then obviously accommodation you know, it's a lot again, the the sort of an eco wage because again they are the backbone really of supply chain. Um, because without them, you know, take for example, without the lorries on the road, um, either be Tesco lorries, whatever, um, Superfine lorries or anything, that they deliver food to the shops and obviously that's supplying us, this consumer. Um, and only for them, you know, the, the whole supply chain would just fall to pieces. And they, if all of them went out, say, tomorrow morning, um, and, you know, all of them left at their posts and everything, the country would be in chaos, let's be honest. In a few days' time, the country would be in chaos, um, as we've seen in the UK, you know, perfect example. Um, they have to... You know, same with the oil thing and everything. Um, but again, the sort of equal, the sort of because they do, they do walk out, and it's a long, it's a long time. I do know a few of them again, as I said, 
there's a few of them who go to France on the ferries and things like that, and it's it's not easy walk. It's not easy walk. You're up early in the morning, you're driving late at night. You know, it's not easy. It's not easy, and especially when it's, some of them have young kids. It's not easy. It really is not easy. Um, and you do fear for them. And again, again, they do a lot. They do a lot. They're behind the scenes. You know, they don't get enough thanks for what they do. Um, and obviously the Green Party is really just the ones to blame. There's nobody else to blame but the Green Party. Um, because the you know, it's the, it's the fewer, the more worried the fewer um, than anything else. And again, it's supposed to, it's about respect and things like that. Um, and about a bit of decency too. But it's the fuel that's really bothering them because you know, they're at a loss at the moment. Let's be honest, they're at a loss at the moment. And then add on the fewer tax. And, and then in the years to come, if the government get away with a pile on the fewer tax. And it will affect them the most because obviously they use the most. Um, fewer and obviously going to mind the place. Um, but you look at. It. Hopefully they do get what they want anyway. Because you know again when you do do something when you clog up Dublin, you know like the tractors or excuse sorry, um when you clog up Dublin with tractors and um like you like the tractor the farmers and things like that you know you basically get what you want because you know you will bring the city to its knees, um and that's the only way you get what you want. It's too high, too full stop. Thank God I'm not committing to college five years, five days a week. It would be insane. So I just sorry, I'll read that again. Sorry, I just it hasn't went through my head. It's hard full stop. Thank God I'm not committing to college five days a week or it would be insane. Yeah, I know a lot of people that went to college and they left and then they went back and then they left, you know. Again, college is not for everybody and again people often say, you know, years ago, things like that, um you know. Um, that you need a college to get a good life and things and that that's just that's that's just cock and full. So let's be honest. Um, you know, if you walk out you get you get you get you get someone like that's for that. Way. But um yeah, but you know, my advice to people, you know, your college is not the be all or end all. Um but it is tough, I will admit I didn't go to college myself. I just it's you know, I put up with too much in se secondary school when we dyslexia. Imagine the amount of college papers I lose the I literally lose the live the road to live if I had to. Um and uh, no bother of uh, and thank you thank you for be thank you for being here, um, um I love tire type of machinery hello John D how are you doing um I love all the tire types of machinery yeah machinery you know it's interesting it's inter it wouldn't be something that's up my alleyway I suppose but I know I I can understand the people that do like it I can understand because I've seen young lads in secondary school in my in my school and they were very interested you know, took a very very good interest in you know what they did and a lot of them went on to be mechanics and training for mechanics apprenticeships things like that and it's great because a good lot of them were gifted let's be honest they gifted with their hands um and you know they do you know they're very interested and very determined to do what they did um you know and things like that so you know it's interesting it is interesting machinery um hello Nate. how are you doing hope you're keeping well in sligo how how, how are you keeping i'm keeping well and I, i'm sure everybody here is keeping well too um good to see you good to see you uh Spider Pig O Seven, how are you doing, Spider Pig O Seven? Is there any more tidy towns this year? What what so what what do you mean by tidy? Like there's no competition, the competition's over, but the tidy towns are still going on. We're still we're still walking and rolling, um at you know at a, I suppose a small a small blah, 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 at a slower pace than it was before. I suppose it's a bit it's a bit toned down if that makes any sense. It's not full mobilization. <laughs> I suppose it's gone down to kind of slow partial mobilization I suppose. It's not just total mobilization like what it was before. Um so you know this this still going on. It's still going on. Um Sean, hello Michonne, how are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. Um so yeah yeah. Yeah 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 <laughs> I just had to double check just to make sure because again I'm, I'm paranoid that these comments are not appearing and just it, it's paranoia now at the moment um but yeah anything anything anybody wants to ask me or talk about anything anything that's on their mind or troubling them at the moment like I'm here to listen I'm here to help uh good to hear Sean good to hear good to hear um so yeah I know a good lot of people and I know a lot of people did message me on Twitter about the lockdown, possibly a lockdown coming, and I know a lot of them are concerned about it. And I say to people, you know, what will what will come, will come, and that's 
you know, we can only hope, um, we can only pray at the end of the day that, you know, something will change, the wind will change, um, and that something will, some kind of some kind of common sense will come into this country, but look at whatever that will come. But, you know, I would say to people, you know, you know, try and try and see a positive side to it. I know it's very very difficult, um, but try, you know, do try, do try, don't, don't give up, you know, don't give up hope, um. So please, you know, again, if anybody's there to message me or into that, don't be afraid. Or if you do want to message me on Twitter, don't be afraid to give me a nod if you're feeling upset or anything. Um, uh, Nathan, do you see my Ireland trailer? Uh, your Ireland trailer. Um, did you make an Ireland trailer? If you did, then, you know, of course, link it to me. Of course, link it to me. I, I didn't see it. Um, uh, will you be watching the Butters Bridge game next week? To be totally honest, I didn't even know they were playing. <laughs> you know, I, I, I haven't heard um, about the game, but I know they're in the Ulster, some kind of Ulster York. I wasn't really paying much attention. You know, they, told, they told me one of the days last week Um, wasn't paying much attention. To be totally honest, um, but I know they're playing somewhere. <laughs> you know, I know they're playing something somewhere. Um, but yeah, and, uh, <laughs> it's a devil that I actually don't know. I knew they were playing the last time, um, when they won the trophy from, with Valley Hills and they won by a point. I knew that. I knew I was bombarded <laughs> when people tell me about that. Um, Mandel Jad's coming in the next new year. I don't. I don't know. I don't like Austria's already gone down that route. Um, I don't know. I think it might be very difficult, um, to do in this country. But I don't think it's. Would be just a walk in the park, if you don't the answer. Um, so again, we see what happens. No, the film it's about Irish people who emigrated to join the. I actually didn't even know that. I don't the answer. I actually didn't even know that. Nathan. You learn something new every day. I actually didn't see that. So no, it's about the film. Irish people emigrated to America during the, uh, when it's and and the, I didn't actually know that. I don't the answer. What's the card again? Let me see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm my brain. My brain is just. Sometimes my brain, I, I actually, did you see my Ireland trailer? No, I actually, it's on YouTube. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember. I knew it said something about Ireland, but I couldn't remember what exactly it said. Uh, Mark Butler, sorry, um, it's, uh, it's something on the screen, just back on the mess just there. Would you rather win Tidy Town so, uh, every year or ha not have dyslexia? That's actually a tough one. That's actually a very tough one. But um, I had to take for a second. Like, I, I'm not, you know, I'd be happy if we won what's in my life, if I'm an out, you know, if we won 20 times what's, I'd be happy, I'm not going to be greedy, I'd be happy just to say, you know, we won it, you know, we won it one year, I'm happy enough, you know, I can retire in peace, I can die in peace, um, you know, I'd be, I'd be delighted just if we won what's, I wouldn't be greedy, I wouldn't want to win every year, because then that takes the fun out of the competition, um, of competing against other towns, you know, it takes the fun out, and again, if you won every year, you'd be, you'd be demotivated, you know, you'd be like, oh, it's it's another award term. We're going up to Dublin again for the thirteenth time here. So I probably would rather not have dyslexia, be totally honest, even though it's a big part of who I am and I suppose it has built my character who I am. Um and I suppose everything kind of relates to dyslexia, you know, when you're reading and things like that, it does take it it does affect who you are as a person and I suppose and the way you see life and the way you interact with people. But I would say probably dyslexia because it would be very beneficial, let's be honest, it would be more beneficial for me and it kind of would save a lot of stress um, but again you know we are the way we are but you know um, but I, again that's your question probably dyslexia bit but I would like you if you know again if we win awards I'd be happy but if it was every year you know like come on now it's something's wigged wigged um, my own it's on YouTube yeah I'll check that just let me where's my notebook um, I'm writing on this page It's called my own. I just write that down. So I, I look it up, because uh, I'll be here for a while. So, um, so yeah, just bear with me one second. Um, okay, let me see. So, um, so yeah, I looked that up. At, where's the check on? So I looked that up. My my island. Just I just write it down because I end up forgetting what the name of it. My island. So is it a film like it's coming out this year, or it's a trailer for a film? Uh, it's uh, because again maybe I'm not getting the full picture, and um, with my album I look it up on YouTube. Just put that up. 
because I will be, we'll probably end at the one o'clock, the live stream here. Um, at one o'clock, we still have another wire to go. But um, I will give it a look, because it'll be up for a good long time tonight. It'll be up until half, probably three o'clock or so. I have a good bit to get through. Um, so I will look it up. I'll get a second and I will look it up, because I'm actually interested. Um, what is Bridget itself to win tidy tents? Of course. Um, of course. Oh, do you mean the GEA match? Um, so hopefully, yes, it's a Marlon produced. That actually rings a bell. I don't know why. As soon as you said, like it rings a bell. It actually does ring a bell. As soon as you said, it's Marlon produced. It's something that you hold it. It's it's a Marlon producer, produced produced. Didn't that win an award or something? The other day? like a uh, boat, the boat. Yeah, the boat. We we'd be we'd be going mad if we did, um, but. Yeah, I actually, did he win, did they win some award for it or something? Because I do remember something about a Marlon and Paulson winning something for um, a film or something that I can't, I can't remember. Exactly, again, this is the thing with dyslexia, you can't take, uh, like again, I, I probably will remember that now it's time to be like, oh, yes. Again, you can't overclog, you, like my brain overclogs itself with information. Um, and uh, you have to try and process it, that's... That's the big issue too, and um, being processed. Um, what you what you're trying to say and what you're trying to take, um. So yeah. Yeah yeah. Um. <laughs> and this chair, I, I tell you, I'm gonna fire it out someday. This window, um. So yeah, but uh, we will talk about next year, um, in December. You know, it will be an interesting video. Um, I do have grand plans. Vitoria and I do have grand plans. But will it work? That's the question. Oh, hello, Red Devil. Uh, Atticus. Uh, I hope I'm saying that last one. I hope you're doing well. Would you rather live on Earth but humans survive? Vice versa. Would you rather live on Earth or die but Earth dies but humans... Uh, I don't quite get you, I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you mean. Would you rather live on Earth, Earth dies, but humans survive, or vice versa? Oh, well, well, you mean if humans don't survive and things like that? I probably would rather be just dead, if no humans apart from... If you mean, I, I, like, I'd be the only one left, if that's what you mean. Um, I wouldn't about that, you know. Um, I hope I hope I'm understanding that, right? Um, Nathan, uh, so do you have a driver's license or plans to get? No, good God, put me on the roads. Jesus Christ, to be danger, danger on the roads. Um, no, I don't have any plans. I rather, um, you know, I rather not you have a car. Let me tell you, answer, because I wouldn't trust myself with a car. Let me tell you, answer. Um, you know, and it's far, it feels it's expensive. So no, no, I have to cut back. You know, we us cabin people don't have too much money. You know. Um, but you know, I'm not really too bothered about a cow. I, like other people in my class when I was at school and things like that were obsessed with getting um you know, a boy race or cow or something like that. Um and you know, more power to them again, don't tell you know, it's good to look forward to something and to enjoy something, you know, and to use your money um to enjoy, you know, enjoy. And that's a good thing. But again it's not my thing. Uh sorry, what oh, what's going on here? Um Message to attract it, okay. I don't, I don't know what happened there, but I know. What does Bridger mean? All oh, right, okay, sorry, I thought the moderators or something were here. Um, being, I don't know, being idiots. <laughs> uh, would you consider cycling? I would rather actually walk, to be totally honest, than cycle. I find it more better um, than cycling. Um, like, there's not, you know, there's not much need to cycle, I suppose. I could just walk, but to be totally honest. But if it did come to it, but it's between the entrance town now. No, we're not going to go that far now, Sean. We're not going to go that far yet. Um, we'll think about it. We think we might think about it in the future. Um, no, but I think we should keep the name. I don't think we should change it. Um, I don't think we should. I don't think we ever could should change the name. I'd be very much against now if we ever if we came up to change the name. Um, I don't think they ever changed the name in Carvin actually. Um, you know, because I don't remember ever a town get changed the name in Cavan. As far as I remember, I noticed towns areas in Dublin never changed names. Uh, tax agent, do you? T uh, no problem, there, right there. Do you think the army will lock up the unvaccinated caps, or will they? Will they be a coup? So yeah, I you know, people talking about it online. I on Twitter the other day, 
they were talking about it, the caps, because again, Australia are doing that, the army are using. But again, my first question is, where's the army? Where, where, what army are they talking about in this country? Um, because the army is literally, it's, no, it's not existent in this country. It's not existent. It's not, well, it's basically just there. It's not the army it used to be. There's not enough people. Um, there's more of us than there's the army. Um, it's very, very, you know, it's very undermanned and threat. Um, but I don't take the way in this country. I don't take the go that far now um, because I think people might start causing a bit of workers and they don't want a bit of workers. Um, because people be like, hang on a second to you. Um, the army putting people into camps, no, I don't, I don't, you know, that's not, this is not Ireland and they just kick up a fuss and that wouldn't go too well for them. Um, but, you know, and again, don't know where to compare the camps in this country um, if they were. But again, you never know. You never know what these lunatics in charge would do. But um, hope we can only hope that, that they don't do it. Because again, it's terrifying to see what's happening in Australia, um, for example. Because they are. And again, would you believe in a few last year we would have been called conspiracy terrorists for actually saying the army would go and take people out of the houses who test positive for COVID and put them into a, a, a part of, what was the What's the word they use? COVID containment cap or something like that. Um, like again, you know, that's. Yeah, I'm sure you agree. That's 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 a bit of an overkill, let's be honest. Um or wouldn't it be cool? I don't know but a coup now. It's half twelve already. It's terrible how time flies. Um just really just a terror, like it doesn't feel like um twenty minutes nearly. It's actually twenty six minutes. Uh, same thing. Just uh addition and <laughs> I suppose. Um but yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anything else? Anything on anybody's minds or anybody what to talk about? Anything? Or anything anybody's concerned about? I'm here. So. But yeah, it should be fun next month. Isn't it? Time flies when you're having fun. Exactly. 100% Mark. 100%. Time flies when you're having fun. And... But where does it really go, you know, the Petonians, like, time just goes and goes and goes, like, it, you know, it's a terror how much time is for because it doesn't feel like 2019, particularly, I remember, was it 20, no, it was 2020, I remember being at school, um, in the out room, when the first lockdown was out, basically, the schools were closed and things like that, and it doesn't feel like a year, I suppose, well, it would be in March, one March, well, it's over a year, probably two years, maybe. It doesn't feel like, you know, we wonder where the time goes. Um, yeah, I'm rambling, sorry. Hopefully, anyway, there isn't any good politicians up, up there be, besides Michael McMahon, indeed. But Matty McGuire, too, is a good, uh, you know, it's, you know, he's really given them a few sticks, especially Michael Ma. Um, Michael, sorry, not Michael Ma. We're not giving him these honorary titles, we're giving Michael Ma. Um, so, yeah, and, you know, there's a few other ones that are you know, giving them a stick for it. Um, there's a few other ones now and again that do give them a good bit of stick. Um, and that's what you need. You need to give them a bit of a stick. Especially that normal folly one. You need to give normal folly a big stick and just tell her, here's the stick. Go away. <laughs> you know? Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... So yeah, I might as well give you a bit of a spoiler, to be totally honest with you, um, to something we were planning, and I, I, I talk about it again, I talk about it next month, um, we'll discuss about the, what's going to happen next, throughout next year, um, again, hopefully all things are good, again, I can't promise anybody anything, because it's, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult to try and do everything, and I'll be totally honest with you, it will be difficult, um, but I'm very committed to doing a bit of it to get it done and I'm going to try my best because this year I promised a few things and I couldn't deliver it um, and I, I'm hell bound on doing and getting something done next year and delivering on my promises so don't, don't worry about that but again um, so basically for Calvin Day next year it will be Calvin Day whenever it will be um, so we're going to do an insane thing and it's going to drive me up the bend um, writing to every TD in Dahl Aaron to ask them with the please wish us a happy Calvin Day on Twitter. And apart from the five TDs in Calvin and Martin, we won't have to ask them because obviously they would do it anyway. But 
it's, it's it's actually going to drive me mad. And uh, some of them, the other people are saying to me, senators too. And I'm just like, uh, please shoot me. Um, you know, 70 senators or something like that. Um, so we, we look into it, but it's going to literally drive me in it. Um, also thoughts on... Oh, hello, Luis. Luis, isn't it? Also thoughts on the appointment of J- James O'Donnell to the council. To which council? To Gavin County Council. Um, I don't I don't know who James O'Donovan is. To be totally honest, I probably know him again. If it is Kevin, I probably have seen him or heard of him before somewhere. Um, like again, if often people show me pictures, I'm like, that's I know him from somewhere. You know, um, let me see. Sorry, um, the Hindi ways will surely reply. Well, yeah, it'd be nice to be again. It'd be nice to get any TD to reply because again, I individually have to write. Do 160 of them. And if you watch my other video I done early on, where I woke to the finish five minutes, then literally took me from 12 o'clock at night to half six nearly in the morning. And I had to literally explain in, in an email, I had to literally explain why Captain was never there, and she never replied, or none of them ever replied. Um, like again, that took a huge toll on me because I had to literally look it up and I was getting very frustrated. Um, because I just my dyslexia was just so bad. Um, and I probably couldn't make out heads or tails what I said. But, you know, we will try it. Again, I, I'm hell bound on doing it. That's one thing anyway we're going to try and do. Now, it's going to cost a fortune in stamps um, to send TDs because we don't have the luxury of having TDs, you know, with the doll air and stamp that you don't have to pay for a stamp. Actually, the, the taxpayer has to pay for it. But, um, you know, you know, it's, we could have. Uh, we might see. We, we try. We see what happens. You know, we have to discuss it for them. You know, again, we're only planning, like, next month. We will, you know, again, we will try. Again, I, I, I hate to say to people, you know, again, I'm going to try. I really am going to try. And I did try this year to do the best I could. And now I promised that it would do, you know, do different things for other things. And I couldn't deliver it. I, did, I wasn't able to deliver this and I felt very bad about it. Um, because simply the money was needed in other places. Um, and that's the reason, because you know, I was hoping to give awards like I did last year. For a person who does work in the community voluntary work and to give them a award on behalf of the channel, a small food bar for them to go and buy something, enjoy it, go out for a meal or something like that with their family. Um, and we couldn't deliver that. I was very, very annoyed with myself about that. Um, that it couldn't be, that it wasn't feasible to do it this year, and I was annoyed. But I'm hell bound doing that next year. I'm hell, like literally, if, it, if I have to sell my soul, I will do it because I'm just uh, that annoyed over it and that I couldn't get doing it. Um, so my apologies again. I just, <laughs> um, because I, when I do say something, I always try and deliver, but it's hard sometimes. Uh, Red, I always enjoy your videos. It's fair play to you. Keep speaking out. I will. Thank you, Red Devil. Thank you. Um. <laughs> um. Um, one second. Is that way? Just checking up something. Like that. Um. So yeah. Sorry for that. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so anybody have anything, like, don't be afraid. Like, literally, don't be afraid. I'm not going to fight you or anything like that. The video on the Dundalk attack, yeah. That's a long time ago. I'm actually, I'm trying to remember, like again, the name, um, Luis, if Luis is still here. Um, like I'm just trying to remember, um, like I don't know which county council. I'm just trying to take, is, is he in Calvin County Council? I'm just trying to take, because again, there's a good lot of people to remember. Um, so I'm just trying to remember that, trying to picture that in my head. Um, What's the kill death race in GTA? I actually never played GTA, so I've played GTA San Andreas, the, the Vidden edition. 
um, was the last week or whatever, I played it for a few minutes. Um, I don't actually know. I actually don't know why in GTA 5 when I used to play when I was younger. Um, don't, I don't know. I wasn't a try hard or anything that killed me. So I blown myself up after every fight or something like that. Um, but yeah, no, I will do, we, you know, we will do a U-turn here for a second. We, I, I know I was going to say we'll talk about it in December when we, we, we iron it out and we try and see what we can do. Um, again, it will be t- it will be tough Calvin Day this year. As I said, it's, it did take a huge toll on me uh, this year, but I was willing to, you know, to either talk or to get it done um, because I, th- that's how committed I am to it now. Um, you know, that I will literally put if I have to go and sacrifice myself to get it to succeed, I will do so um, because that's how much it means to me. Um, and it was great to see CC that but this year I want to go a bit a bit over the top um, a bit uh, just a bit over the top you know I, I want to kind of do it because cause again it's such a positive effect like there wasn't one negative comment out of 20, 20, 20, 20 there wasn't one negative comment I couldn't find one and I we actually went looking for negative comment it wasn't one everybody was so just positive in Canada it was such a positive thing um, and it's so good and again we could bring that to a bigger scale, you know, and again, we can do that to a bigger scale with just pure positivity, and that's what we need for pure positivity, just to bring a smile. If we can put a smile in somebody's face, you know, that, then that's well worth all the effort, um, you know, and somebody can just have a laugh and just be like them Kevin people. Um, but, yeah, let me, again, I'm, we could see what happens. We could see. We could try. Um, whatever. Because, again, in, God knows it might. You never know. we would be getting a bouncy castle. No, we're not going bouncy castle yet. Um, but you know it could go ahead like on the street like again well the plan was originally in Tretty Tretty and to have a Catholic week and what I mean by Catholic week the people come home from Catholic you know, people come home come home come home come from New Zealand Australia and other countries back to Catholic which they are from Catholic to come back to see the wealth of St. Catherine um, and the big reuniting I suppose of the Catholic family together and there'll be street festivals and things like that um, but obviously COVID came along and that just all fell down the drain. Um, but yeah, so it was basically last minute, particularly Tretty Tretty, um, that we had to do it online. Um, and it was not actually even going to go ahead, only for we said we, we, we give it the shot. And more or less, I said, it, we, you know, there's something here that we could actually look into and it could actually do very, very well. And I was the only one who could actually visualise it, that we could do more. It with it, you know, and we did with like ten million people seen it, um, during a lockdown in the country in Ireland, and we imagined to get that amount of people seeing it, um, and just lift it like it really did lift the whole county, um, because they literally just stormed social media and stuff and be us, like it, like it's untold of, it's unworthy told of. But anyway, I keep you know it's always something when I'm upset or depressed, um, you know I was thinking about that and it does bring a smile to my face so. You know, that's always something that, you know, I will try to cherish for the rest of my days. Um, the two Calvin days, and particularly next year too, hopefully, please God, everything go well. And that I'll be able to achieve what I want to achieve. Um, because again, it's outside the county council. When I'm not really working with the county council on different things um, related to the Calvin day. You know, I'm helping them um, and promoting them and things like that. But I'm not, you know, they're, they're organising the show, the Calvin day show and things like that. They're organising the social media channels. But apart from that, you know, I have input on it, you know, I have input on it, but I won't interfere, I let them do their own thing. And I want to do my own thing, I suppose, for County Cabin. Um, and it's supposed to be half the channel too, I want it to kind of be a big positive thing for the channel too. Um, and something people enjoy. So, you know, I have a lot of ideas but to look at. Um, hopefully, please God. Again, I will talk about it in big, big detail in December, the, near the end of December. Because it will have to be all ironed out and it will have to be all put together. And there will have to be a complex plan of action. And you know, it's going to drive me mad. I'm not going to lie. My moderators are probably going to hate me. And my editor is probably going to hate me too. Um, because they actually have to sit with me and help me try to put this together. Um, and what we're going to do, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. Because it's, we, we literally will have to start. And I, I said this, and again, I know I'm going off talk, but we literally will have to start in March. White to TDs because I individually have to write to every one of them apart from the five from Calvin to ask them would they kindly do it, um, but I don't know the date again. We, we, the date won't be known until the near the time, and um, so I individually just have to talk to them individually as people and just basically ask them would they kindly help us out, um, 
so you know um but hopefully that will hopefully it does work and again we will and i say this we did go to other countries we did go to prime ministers we did go to um Con we did go to the united states congress um <laughs> to ask with the wishes of happy cabinet but we will we will try again we will try again and obviously we did we've done a true email we didn't really write a letter um but we will go to the united states congress and we will go to we will go to we will go to other parliaments and other prime ministers just just to let them know your cabin <laughs> you know just to let them know cabin's coming up in the world wise um but yeah we've done very well um the only response we got we went to new zealand we walked to the Australian government. We wrote to the prime ministers of them two countries. We wrote to the we wrote to the president of the United States. We got nothing back from Joe Biden. He's probably asleep. Sure, look at, um, particularly because a lot of Irish people, a lot of cab people live in America. The vast majority of cab people live in Amer America or Canada. Really, there that and Australia, New Zealand, there that four countries. So we wrote to all them governments and we got really nothing back, which is upsetting. And obviously the Finnish government. And we wrote to the Icelandic government too, and we sent the emails after them. The only government that responded to us was New Zealand, um, just in the Aldoran, so which was good. Um, so at least she got it in her hands, and she'd be like, these fucking captain people. Um, because it was passed up, it was passed up, and her secretary said she would make it a priority to pass it up to the Prime Minister of New Zealand. So we got it in the hands of the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Hello, Gwilla Petra, how are you doing? Sorry, I went in the rat there. But you see, when I get into the cabin, like, I could talk endless, I could literally be here all night. Just talking about Kevin because it brings me such joy in my heart talking about it, um and just all the positivity. So you know I could really just <laughs> I could really just write a script on it, um. But yeah, I know I'm sorry I'm probably boring people, but you know it's really just brings me great joy, um, and it's something I do cherish, um. So yeah, it kind of gives me purpose, I suppose too, um. So yeah. So yeah, yeah. Anything at all. Anybody have anything they want to talk about. But we will talk in detail about it and things like that. Um, but I, I don't, like, again, it's it's going to be outrageous what we have to try and do to get every TD to try and respond. And if, again, we're going to have to follow it up when we do post it, because we won't post it to the exact, near the time, near the, not near the time, but a few weeks beforehand, because obviously we know in a few weeks' hand, whenever Calvin Day will be, um we'll post them because again I want to make it a challenge and we can see who replied to us read the replies and x y and said because obviously a few of them know me a lot of them would know me and they'd be like this cunt um <laughs> you know um particularly you know a good lot of the Fina gear a lot of the Fina Fall would probably know me too um some of Sinn Féin would know me um they wouldn't yeah, social democrats they wouldn't people for profit wouldn't really know me unless they probably have me on the <laughs> fighting board somewhere um yeah there's good like there's a few i know it's a few i know and i know i spoke to them once or twice before I interacted with them on different things um but yeah it should be fun um so yeah no, no here i just throw it out here i know but um who do you take will respond out of the 160 tds in dollar and it's not 160 it is 160 tds isn't it in dollar one um the house is the well, house of the to dollar. And well, who do you think will respond? Like who do you think is most likely to respond? Because we wrote to Norma Foley. We wrote. I wrote personally an email to Norma Foley. I spent, you know, I well, I didn't spend much time on it, but I just fucked it out and just said, you know, <laughs> yeah, Norma, just be, just do something good for once in your life, will you, please? And she didn't. So you know, great country. Um, I wrote to the me whole mountain, and she look at he didn't care either. Um. And he, they, I wrote to the tarnish that was looking. They didn't care. But at least the president, we got word from the highest office in the land. Um, so, you know, it was beneficial. So it was good. So very, very good. I, I think the chat might be broken. Bear with me. Mark, not sure. Oh, it is working, though. Um, Mark McSherry. Yes, he's that Wexford independent TD, isn't he? Uh, yeah, Wexford, isn't Wexford? Am I right? I think I'm right. I'm trying to remember again. It's hard to remember every TD and every senator and every... It's hard to remember. Um, 
it's really, really difficult to remember all of them. And it's ridiculous, it's difficult to remember every character's love now. It's ridiculous to try and remember all of them. Um, like, well, one person suggested, and I was actually going to shoot them, um, that... What do you call a cop, a cop in bed? What do you call a guy? Who's this game? Or, um, I don't know. What do you call a cop in bed? Um... Um, we have water, but yeah, I was right. Um, no, that's so. <laughs> I, I know, I, I, I knew, see, I knew the name. And it was like, yes, water, but I, I, I could picture in my head and it was like, that's him, yes. Um, undercover cop. Oh, yeah, I see what you say. Yeah, undercover cop. Um, but yeah, somebody suggested that we write to all the county councillors, apart from Calvin County Council, obviously. Monaghan County Council, we write to Lockford, all the councillors in Lockford, Sligo, Donegal, Mayo, what's common, I can't be just like, oh no, kill me. Like, like, it'd be different, like, it'd be different if we had huge manpower, because again, it's only me and my moderator and my editor, that's all I have, really. Um... So yeah, that's all we have. Because it isn't a, like it isn't a Catholic county, you know, it isn't a county council thing. This is a private kind of thing that we're doing for Calvin. Um, I suppose on behalf of the people of Calvin too. Um, for County Calvin. To try and do something, I suppose, in very interesting. Let's see, because it will be a good challenge thing. I do want to see, because it would be nice to see what TDs will reply back. Because again, I'm not get paid an inch for doing this for, you know, for writing up the, for doing, for Kevin and things like that. And I'm not campaigning the ditch, I'm doing it all for me. I don't know, the goodness of my heart for County Kevin and for the goodness of the county. Um, and trying to make a smile on people's face. So, you know, and that's, that's where water every cent. That, that's water every, that's water, that's no money in the world, what I'm trying to say, no money in the world can buy, can pay for that. No money in the world can pay for that. Um, so yeah, we end. It will be interesting because it will be good. It will be very thankful to her, even if it's some Fina Gale shill, um, or Fina Fall shill. You know, I'd be happy that they took the decency to actually respond. You know, again, there's TDs that I write to and there's councillors that I write to. They're just pure ignorant and just couldn't be bothered to write to me back or couldn't be bothered to reply to me. Um, could you ask a few Irish celebrities? Um, what was I saying? Uh. Like we could, yeah, we did. We tried that this year. Uh, we tried getting in contact with Jack Sepp, the guy. Um, for example, we tried to get in contact with him. We couldn't. Um, it was impossible. We couldn't find any link to get him. Um, obviously, I was going to ask a few people. Um, obviously, I was going to talk to a few people and try and get something done. But he would, if he could give us a mention, you know, the goodness he's had for the Calvin viewers. Or OT game and something like YouTube, Irish YouTuber, popular Irish YouTubers, um, but I don't know. Again, we could still we keep an open mind. I will say that we keep an open mind, um, next year we will keep an open mind because it will be an almighty effort put into it, um, because again we're talking about starting, doing this in December. We're talking about having a plan and starting from the first to January, first to, first next year, we're full on just going to purely focus on what we're going to try and do. We're going to have to step it out. We're going to have to do up a plan. What's the plan of attack? What's the plan of action? And it's it's just, it's, it's going to be absolutely fucking huge. Like, I, I can't explain to you. And again, it's just, like, I know it's going to be very, very difficult. And it's going to be unbelievably hard to organise um, what I have planned. But I talk about it in detail again. I, I, again, I'm trying to walk it down my head and it's very, very hard with this next year too to try and picture it in your head because I haven't, I can't put it on paper. I can only, I can see it, I can picture it in my head. But it's very, very difficult. I know I'm sorry I keep going on, but, it's, but I, I bring, really bring me great joy if it can, can succeed. And please, God, it will succeed. But yeah, I'm totally to believe I not even tried to, try to do it. It's lived off. And, um, I'm a time for Calvin Day 2050. Um, did you write to Santa yet? No. Tommy Turner. Who's Tommy, uh, Tommy Turner? Try fan Mars. Oh, Tommy Turner. Actually, speaking of Irish celebrities, what do you call him? Brendan. Brendan, what do you call him? Grayson, Grayson, Brendan Grayson, Grayson, Brendan Grace, Brendan Grace. Um, he was down in Brothers Bridge today. Um, Brendan Grace, he's an actor. Um, he was down there um, today at the Derrick Hour in Brothers Bridge. I um, was told about it. I didn't, I didn't go meet him, but I was told it was here. Conor McGregor, we actually, we didn't follow it up because obviously there's no public listing for Conor McGregor's email address, so I entered that. 
but we tried to cut to contact them through Twitter. We did try. Um, we weren't successful, unfortunately. Um, but we we keep an open mind. Next year, we will keep an open mind, and we we really are help out in trying to do something. Um, like again, if we if we can get something, if we can get something out of it. You know, it'd be good. Um. Yeah, well, anything will help, Mark. But anything would help. Um, but we really Brendan Brendan Lacow. No, not Brendan Lacow. It's Brendan Griffin. Brendan Griffin, not Brendan Lacow. Um, not Mrs. Burns boys. Um, Brendan Griffin is an actor. I think I'm saying that right. Brendan Griffin. Um, again, I know I've I'm seeing the picture in my head in the Devil Gallery, but um. Blue collar box, blue collar box, and <laughs> We're gonna do that to promote Calvin there, um. But yeah, it's gonna be huge. That's all I say to people. Uh, hopefully, please God, we could do something um a bit a bit fun this year too for the channel for the people of the channel, um. But yeah, I hope again it's gonna take, it's gonna take a lot. Um, ex Irish football player. Davy Mur, yes. What a what a what Irish. But again, you know. Hopefully we wish for taking, you know, whenever you never know what could happen next year. Um, like you know, people were saying to me, um, well two or three people around here were saying, Could you not contact try and contact Mr Beast? Um, the YouTuber he said, especially because you're doing a fallen tree. Um and Mr Beast, you know, Mr Beast. Um, you know, he's that kind of person I suppose too on YouTube, that he would be that type, that he would really help somebody that's fallen tree. Um, especially because you know, again I'm doing it for the good of the county um, to promote County Gavin they said to try and contact him um, and I was like you know you know, going a bit too far there now um, but you know anything's, anything's possible but we, we keep an open mind again we will keep an open mind on it but it's just down to just pure how you know, again, what I just mentioned there like think of how logistically we're going to have to do like particularly right to every TD and dollar we have to get steps we have to get the dresses we have to get we're just going to it's just going to be huge like that alone is going to take an almighty amount of money first of all to post individually to all the TDs now even if we do all the senators too along with TDs that's going to cost an outrageous amount of money to just do that alone um that's that's it'd be just outrageous like honest to god it's going to be outrageous and um, particularly because i'm well, buying snaps every nearly day of the week posting letters and things like that for different things and it's outrageous it's, it's outrageous oh, it's up in the end and that's just one thing yeah you know that's just one thing that's not adding in everything else so you know it's out it's going to be pure just man for what's his contact him on instagram he would add so but we might see it next year. We might see. Give me a nod. Remind me, especially Instagram. I don't have an. I well, I have an Instagram account. Never use it. Um. But I might look. Ask my editor to look into that. Um. If so, because if you can give us even a mention or even a treat or something like that, it would really do a lot for County Cabin. Again, it's not for me. It, like at the end of the day, I want to just get this straight. I you. Know, it's not for me. It's for the county. I want to try and do it for County Cabin. Um, to do something because again you couldn't you know you, you really just couldn't go any really higher, um getting a YouTuber of the size of Mr Beast giving us a mention like, you know, like it's it's unbelievable like but again you have to keep an open mind that we got eighteen million views from both last year and this year like that's insane for a small county the size of the County Cabin, um that's that's purely insane like let's be fair that's really just a, a mighty amount of achievement. Um, alone, that's just a huge achievement. Like that's it's unbelievable, that the size of the achievement we, we achieved. Brian Cowan, oh, you mean that fellow, Brian Cowan? Oh, no, I don't. We probably will have to contact them for sure. Should be fun. I know people are probably just sick of me now and probably just like, oh, I'm fed up for this. Um, I wouldn't blame you. So I wouldn't blame you. So it kind of gets boring. I go on a tangent for County Cowan and to look. Um, we're not, I don't really go on a tangent, it's a nice positive thing to talk about, to be totally honest with you. We'll stay for another while, anyway, we'll stay for another while, but yeah. But I say to people, we'll keep an open mind, we will keep, and we'll talk about it in huge detail. Um, come December, or I do, the end of December, we'll talk about it in huge detail. Um, it's, yeah, but it's, it's going to be, it's going to be nice. <laughs> like, I am, um, actually, like, again, particularly writing, it's going to be just nice enough. 
Um, but it is my intention to try and do it. So, yeah. mm-hmm. Because the, the God loves to try at the end of the day. That's what I said. But anyway, whoever's here, hello. There's one person still here. Hello, hello. Um, I didn't mean to say hello, but you look at um, you know, you know, Don't be afraid to talk. You know, I'm here. You have to flow to yourself. Um, so don't be afraid to, to ask me anything. Or anything, you query, query or anything. Um, we'll go for another few minutes. I set an alarm. An alarm. Uh, I'm actually brain dead. Um, what are we looking for here? Stopwatch? No, we're not looking for stopwatch. Timer. We go for another. Let's go 14 minutes. Uh, we're 14 minutes and we'll go for 12. We'll go for 12. We'll just go for 12. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, we'll go for another 12 minutes and then we'll call it quits for tonight. I have a good bit more to do. I look up that bit to my island. Actually, Hello, Moonhots. How you doing? Missed the boss, indeed. Oh, you. Such a mess, the yeah, such a <laughs> I kicked on one of my own videos by mistake. Um, So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we're going for another few minutes anyway. Sorry, that's you know a few minutes ago was popping off in here. There's it was about a hundred people here, um, not not quite literally, but you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah. So and you have to throw to yourself, whoever's here. So don't be afraid to chat. Um, do to do. do. See, it's uh, how hard. It uh, went on for about an hour about Calvin Day, and now I have nothing to talk about. I want this to chat, like, I could keep being paranoid about this now. I don't think, I, I think it's still showing. Paranoia at the highest. <laughs> Sit back and relax. <laughs> right. I know I'm very dead now in the moment. <laughs> um. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. See, so <laughs> I know I'm so awkward sometimes that um you know when you're not when nobody's chatting or into that you you find you do find things to talk about easily you know um I suppose keeping the conversation going. Hello Nick, how are you doing? How are you keeping these days? Um, hope you're doing well on this Thursday. Um, towards the morning, we would say towards the morning now, we would probably kind of say it, wouldn't we? 50-50 I suppose. Um, we would say towards the night, I suppose, the night, afternoon, same thing. Different times. So yeah, anybody that's here, again, I can't stress this enough, don't be afraid to say anything or to ask me anything. Um, like I'm here, I'm here. I'm from Dublin myself, oh. 
That's good, that's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, my throat sometimes when I'm talking for now. <laughs> it throat dries up a bit. So sometimes I have to clear my throat to speak. Um. So yeah, we won't be live for much longer. So any like again, anything you want to talk about seven minutes, we go for another seven minutes. Um, like I said, it would end at one o'clock. We're a bit over the time, but you look at we'll be here for another seven minutes. So. It's a terror, it's an hour. It doesn't feel like it's an hour. Oh, yeah, hello, Mark. You're still here. Um, oh, I'd be fine. I'd be fine. I get a drink after this. I go for another few minutes and I get a drink. And I look through what I have to do and then I, whenever that I've finished, see I have a good bit to read and then I have a bit to write on. Um, a few documents. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that hopefully doesn't take me too long. But I said I feel I felt very lonely, so that's why I came on, um, and I just kind of wanted to talk. And you know, you get lonely, you really do. Um, So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's uh, everybody's probably gone to bed now, and you know it's uh, it's a bit quiet on them, I suppose. Well, so let me just I I put a date on the candle when I'm here. Take about what date we're going to talk with the cabin. Can you count the date off? Sorry, um, everybody. Sneeze, everybody. Sorry. Up the wire. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Go and try to and see what's the story in here. We have four minutes. Four minutes. Were you ever in Dublin too? So, uh, I was. I was. It was actually pretty glass. It was actually good. When I was younger, it was good. Very good to go around and see all the animals. It was really, really nice. And the Phoenix Park too was very nice. Um, go around and seeing the deer and things.
So we are ending it like before we go before we go. Um, before we go. Um again thanks to everybody for the likes on the stream. Um really, really appreciate it. Um we have two minutes so anything you want to ask or anything. If you're still here, Mark, um if you wish to ask anything. Um like don't be afraid. Um really really don't be afraid. We're all friends here. What has happened to you? Sorry, I was just reading things up. Uh, see, as things come up and so we dream. But anyway, um, two people still here, so um, yeah. So if you have anything you want to ask for the last minute or two, you know, please do. Don't be afraid. Um, at all, at all to ask. Um. Like this live stream on my tablet really eats up my battery now. And to see, I just double check to make sure I haven't missed any comments because that's probably most likely somebody's probably talking in the chat and I didn't even see it or it's not popping up. It's just, oh, wish, wish, sorry. Can I congratulate? Can I congratulate? So, yeah, let me see. Can you congratulate my good friend Adam on getting his employee of the month in the milk company in Ballymun? Oh, very, very well done, Adam. Employee in the month. I didn't think companies, many companies did it, but they did do this. They do it, do they, companies? Um, but fair play, Adam. Fair play. Um, hope you enjoyed. Well deserved. I'm sure it's very well deserved. Hello, Sheila. Happy Calvin Day. Um, not yet, but as I say, every day is a Calvin Day. So, you know, every day is a Calvin Day. Um... So it's technically it would be true. Happy happy everyday cabin day. Happy everyday cabin day is such a mouth. Um so yeah. But yeah, you're gonna hear a lot more about Cabin Day next month. You have I have my you have your head light light listening to Cabin Day next month. Um because we will have to talk about different things. It's only popped up there now, it popped up my thing for uh, like again it's a bit tablet thing, it takes a while for the pop up. Um so yeah, I think we'll pop on, uh, pop up, pop on, pop on, pop up, pop, pop off, uh, in a second or two. Um. So yeah, any last things, anything, anybody wants to say or anything like that, feel free. Um. The floor is yours. Like that always tried, didn't it? Gives me half that. I wouldn't mind. But I actually forgot there at a second. Stop, stop the count. Um. So yeah, we'll go for another minute. If so, if anybody has anything to say, the last final. Find the put in the final word, I suppose. Um, you can do so. I say for another extra minute, isn't it? I very general, so I give you an extra minute. Um, but yeah, no, don't feel free to say whatever you need to say in the, in the last minute. We'll have, we have someone. Feel free. So, I just wanted to say hi from. Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, you're watching from the United States. Um, thank you for watching, Sheila. Thanks, thanks very much. Hello from County Cavan Island. Um, but um, yeah. So yeah, I think we leave it there. I don't think there's much more that can be said tonight, or I think that can be done. Um, yeah. Thank you, Sheila, for watching all the way from the United States. Um, I really hope you're you're doing well. Um, in the United States, I hope everything's going well. Um, yeah, I just actually, sorry, I, I don't mean to be nosy around there, but how, how did you find out for Cavender? Um, if you don't mind, if you don't mind me asking. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean to be nosy, but I'm just very curious now. <laughs> I'm just like, everybody knows about Cavender. Um, we're going to tell Joe, we're going to ask Joe Biden to see now about Cavender. Um, but I did write to the White House about Cavender. Um, so yeah. I, w I read back the co the comments. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of we kind of turned into a cabin day stream, um, for about twenty minutes, 
40 minutes of this whole video, whole live stream, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, it was about that. Give or take, give or take. 40 to, 40 to maybe 50 minutes, possibly, maybe. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, fair to say it was basically a cat. <laughs> we don't answer. But yeah, I think we live there. Um, thank you everybody, thank you Sheila for watching all the way from the United States, thank you to Mark if you still here, Mark. Oh no, no, no need, no need Sh Sheila, time, time zones are probably, um, it's probably difficult, you're probably just waking up, um, in the United States, um, at the moment. Um, we're just kind of, we're kind of one o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I'm still here one o'clock in the morning. Um, but no bother Sheila, thank you for, thank you for being here, I knew Mark was there, thank you Mark for being here too. So yeah, good night everybody. Um God bless. Um take care. We will be back soon. We will be back soon talking. I might not like it in the day. Yeah, take care. It's seven fifty PM here. So yeah, it's e evening there. So it's it even. So yeah. Um again, probably thank you everybody for being here. We will talk more in detail about Calvin Day next month at some stage. Probably the eleventh or so one eleventh trout, something like that before just before Christmas we talk about the outrageous plan that we have for Calvin Day. But sure, look at we get there when we get there. But anyway, thank you everybody for being here. I do appreciate it. Um again, especially because this late for Irish viewers, so you know, my apologies for doing this late. Um thank you, K Kemate. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Um God bless you too. Um so yeah, good night everybody. Thank you for being here and goodbye.